I'm Dominic Paling. Uh, I'm uh, a compare for this event, which is um, supercharged growth uh, with the right brand story. Meron Wrigley is going to be our first speaker. Meron heads up our uh, tech account. Uh, Meron is a uh, master storyteller. She's going to hand the baton on to Gareth Davis, who will be our second speaker. Gareth uh, heads up our digital team. Gareth will then pass on to uh, Fabrice. Uh, Fabrice Etienne is the international marketing uh, manager for Rich Relevance. The last speaker uh, will be um, Dara Nasser. Dara is the uh, head of agency sales at Twitter. Technology businesses are generally in some way related to creating the technology which is fueling this explosion of new ways of communicating. But actually, they are often the most scared and conservative brands about adopting these new communication techniques. Getting cut through and getting the visibility that these businesses really desire in order to kind of take themselves to the next level and, as the title of this event goes, to supercharge their business. Visibility is core, <coughs> but visibility is only really going to be achieved if you can kind of create what I call meaningful engagements with your audience. Uh, my name is Fabrice Etienne. I'm the International Marketing Manager for Rich Relevance. Facebook needs to be treated not just as an extension of your corporate website, <coughs> but really a mirror of who you are as a company. Um, here you've got good example on some of the, um, of the bugs there. You'll see our corporate news in terms of case study, um, yeah, CEO talking to a conference, as well as sitting next to it, you know, parties and things that we do in the office and who we are as a company. <clears throat> My name is Darren Astor, I head up agency sales at Twitter. And the hashtag is what interests you most. And actually, um, a colleague of mine was speaking at a conference, and he was speaking to someone afterwards. And he, he was leading, he's speaking to this uh, senior professor uh, at university, and he says, I use Twitter to connect with leading experts in autism in the world. That's what he did, and he said there were 41 of us. So basically there are 41 people he classifies as experts, and they just discuss what they want to discuss around it. From social media, the share of leads come from social media, over half from Facebook, then it goes about a third Twitter, and then it goes down to LinkedIn. However, in terms of the share of conversions, Twitter are leading that way in terms of conversions, because we just try to be highly relevant and targeted there. Um, so, one of the questions I have um, about the always on, um, we're finding people just stopping, you know, and so they should, on weekends, stop. You know, you've got a wife and family or kids and partners and what have you. We don't care if they don't want to tweet. Um, in fact, we hope people do have a life. Um, and, and I just, this, this, were people actually pushing back? I'm wondering whether anybody else is seeing pushback. If you do have Gareth's tone of voice, that he'll be tweeting maybe professionally and personally, and following people both professionally and personally. And if he, you know, if people follow him because they're tech enthusiasts, but see his tweets of a weekend when he's annoyed about public transport or a restaurant, I think, as I said before, it brings a human element to him that he actually cares and he's using the platform genuinely rather than because he feels he ought to. Mm. That idea of someone at the head of an organisation saying we need to have a strategy which is managed centrally but implemented lo locally and then taking control but taking control in almost to give freedom to the markets to develop that voice is definitely the right strategy I think. But the one thing I would say exactly from what Gareth saying is that get your tone of voice sorted but just be there because if you're not there your customers will get either angry or they'll, they'll view it negatively. We've seen that time and time again. What we've definitely seen, and I think particularly for small businesses trying to get cut through, I think hashtags are fundamental in all of the communications, particularly through a platform like Twitter, because you, know, you need to get visibility quickly, and the best way to do that is to kind of jump on and use content and, and kind of assets that people are already sharing, because ultimately that already has a movement and, and kind of kind of people engaging around it, around any hashtags. And I don't know if Dara will say this, but I think Twitter recently told me that, you know, one of the first things that people do when they log into Twitter, regardless of platform, is check out the trends and the hashtag trends. So actually, if you can kind of, if you can see a hashtag that's trending, that's relevant to your business and organisation, particularly for a B2B one, use it in your communications, because that's going to get into people's feeds and people will check out that out. And it's kind of a first very, very easy and simple step to, <coughs> to creating that visibility that you need to drive the engagement. If you want anyone to explain 
trends or Twitter to you, Gary Man. He's just nailed it. So that was really good. So thanks, Gary.